Good day. Welcome to another section of AE Accounting Tutorials. Today we are going to look at the accounting arrangement for a withdrawal, death or retirement of a partner. Is that okay? That is when a partner dies or withdraw from the partnership business, how we are going to make an accounting arrangement for that. So we are going to take a full practice question and try to solve it together to enhance your understanding on withdrawal or death of a partner or retirement. Is that okay? And this is one of the aspects of changes in partnership business. So when a partner dies, what, what we are going to do is that we are going to value the goodwill of the business and try to credit his capital account or credit his account with his share of the goodwill. Is that okay? And we are going to revalue our asset and liability. And if there is any surplus on the revaluation, we credit it to the deceived partner's account. And if there is any deficit to be debit his account to reduce his account balance. Is that okay? So basically this is what we are going to do. And if there is any profit or accrued profit, his share, his part will be paid to him. Is that okay? Him or her? So let's take the question together and try to solve it to enhance the understanding on accounting arrangements for a, a retirement of a partner. Sun, Moon and Star are partners of universe Enterprise sharing profit or losses in a ratio to 3 is to 2 is to 1 respectively. Under the partnership agreement, interest is allowed on capital at a rate of 9% per annum. The agreement also contains a provision that in an event of death of any partner, goodwill is to be valued at 3 years purchase of the average profits of the preceding 4 years. The deceit partner's share in the accrued profit is to be calculated by allowing 12% per annum on his capital from the date of the last balance to the date of death. Sun died on 31st March 2022. This means one of the partner dies, which is Sun, on 31st March 2022. The balance sheet of the dates on 31st December 2021 was as follows. And the property, plants, and equipment, we have business premises, 20,000, motor vehicle, 41,200, equipment, 18,400. And the current asset, we have inventory, 15,200, debt, 16,800 Ghana cities, cash and bank is 8,400 Ghana cities, making a total of 40,400. The current liability, we have creditors, 16,000. Then the net asset of the business is 104,000 Ghana cities. Under finance by we have capital account Sun 40,000 Ghana cities, Moon 30,000 Ghana cities, and Star 34,000 Ghana cities. For the purpose of calculating how much to pay to the executors of Sun Estate, premises were valued at 36,000 Ghana cities, motor vehicles 45,000 Ghana cities, 800 cities of the debtors was considered irrecoverable and the net realizable value of the inventory was estimated at 14,200. The profits for the last four years were 4,800, 5,200, 6,000 Ghana cities and 8,000 Ghana cities respectively. Sun had made cash drawings of 2,000 Ghana cities in 2022. Goodwill should not be maintained in the books. Required, compute the amount Moon and Sun have to pay to the executors of Sun's estate and B, draw up the statement of financial position of the firm after Sun's death if the amount owned to him was retained as a loan. All right, so this is the question. Before we start working the question, let, let's analyze the question. From the beginning, you can realize that they said under the partnership agreement, interest is allowed on capital at the rate of 9% per annum. So, each person needs to receive 9% on his capital. But mind you, the sun dies at the, within the year, not at the end nor the beginning. So, we prepare our account at the end of the financial year. That is 31st December. But here is the case, he dies in 31st March. So, as at that time, we need to calculate his his part, that is the interest on his capital as and that date and paid to him by crediting his capital account. Good. 
and they are saying that goodwill is to be valued at three year purchase of the average profit of the preceding year. Okay, we are to value the goodwill, but they've given us the method to use. The method here is the average profit method. So we are going to do that. And from there, they said the deceit partner share in the accrued profit is to be calculated by allowing 12% per annum on his capital from the date of his last balance to the date of death. That is his accrued profit in the business. We should determine that by calculating 12% on his capital. Okay, that is to the time he is actually out of the business. Good. And the last part, that is the requirement B, that draw up a statement of financial position of the firm after son's death, if the amount owned to him was retained as loan. This means that after we are able to determine how much we should pay to the executors of son estates, that amount should still be retained in the business as loan. I think maybe the cash that would be available will not be enough to pay off that debt for that amount to the executors of son. So we are going to retain that amount as loan in our final statement of financial position. Good. So to begin, they say we should compute how much son and star have to pay to the executors of son estate. Good. So I told you because of the death of the partner, we need to value our assets, probably our liability to, de to determine the profit or loss on the assets. Valuation. Good. After that, we have to actually consider the valuation of the goodwill. So first of all, they've given us the method to value goodwill. So let's see how we can value the goodwill. So that is universe enterprise. Good. So before we know how much we should pay to the executors of Sun, that is we are going to prepare the capital account of Sun so that we determine the amount we are going to pay. But before that, let's follow our goodwill and see his share. Is that okay? So this should be the workings. This is not part of the requirement, but we have to do this. So I that is. Valuation of goodwill. They are saying we should value goodwill using the average profit method. That is three year purchase of the four years average profit. So goodwill is going to give us the three years purchase. Then we multiply it by we multiply this by the, the four years average profit. Good. And they've given us the average profit for the preceding four years. So that is three multiplying by. So let's from the question, the profits were 4,800, 4,800, 5,200 plus another 6,000 and 8,000. That is four year average profit. The average of this is going to give us 6,000. Six Good, we multiply it and that is going to give us 18,000 Ghana cities as the value of goodwill. Is that okay? So, this is the value of goodwill. Good. So, we will be preparing the goodwill account to determine how much we should pay to the executors of sum. Before that, the question also requires us to calculate interest on capital. Is that okay? So, let's determine. Uh, interest on capital okay so this is one this is two interest on sounds capital 
is that okay? And they said we should calculate nine uh, percent, okay? And his capital balance in the statement of financial position was four thousand forty thousand Ghana cities. But he dies on the thirty first March twenty twenty two. He was in the business for only three months before he dies in twenty twenty two. So that is three out of twelve. And this is going to give us 900 Ghana cities has his interest of profit for some. And the third one is at the bottom, you can also see that the receipt partner's share in the accrued profit is to be calculated by allowing 12% per annum on his capital. Okay, so that is the accrued, his accrued profit, good. That is his share of accrued profit. So that is for some. Good. We should allow 12% on the capital. His capital is 40,000. He was in the business for only three months. And this is going to give us 1,200 Ghana cents. So we are going to pay this amount to the executors. But remember that we prepare the final account at the end of the financial year. Or we, yes, we prepare at the end of the financial year. But he dies at the somewhere much. So this is share because we, we didn't yet determine, we haven't determined the profit of the business yet. This amount is supposed to be paid out of the existing partners to the executors of some. So that at, at the end of the period when we actually ascertain the profit of the business, then the part that Sam would have been taking will be taken by the existing partner because when he dies, he will be the very person to pay off his uh, account, uh, his, his, his share of profit and interest. Is that okay? Good. Now, after we are able to determine the goodwill of the business and know how much we should give to. Uh, Sun executors will be preparing the goodwill account to show of that. Is that okay? But before that, let's value our assets and see if there is any surplus or loss. So, revaluation. Revaluation account. So with a revaluation account, they revalued their business premises, their premises of an amount of 36,000. Initially, it was 20,000. This means it has increased by an amount of 16,000. So every time an asset, we want to increase the value of an asset, we debit the asset account in the name of revaluation, then we credit revaluation, so premises. 16,000. Good. 16,000. Then the next item, they revalued their motor vehicle and they had 45,000. Initially, it was 41,200. 41, this is also an increase in the value of assets with an amount of 3,800. So it has increased. So to increase the value of an asset, we debit the asset account in the name of revaluation. And credit revaluation account that is not to vehicle. Three thousand eight hundred. Good. After that, eight hundred of the debtors were considered irrecoverable. It means the debtors balance there was eight hundred cities that has been considered as bad debts. It means the debtors balance has reduced. And data is a current asset to reduce the debtor's balance. We credit the debtor's account in the name of revaluation re to reduce the balance. So we credit debtor's account and debit revaluation account in the name of bad debt. Bad debt or irrecoverable debt. And the amount was 800 cents. And another item was the net realizable value of the inventory was estimated at 14,200. Good. But the initial inventory was 15,200. This has been a decrease in value of assets with an amount of 
1000 so to decrease the value of an asset which is inventory we credit the inventory account in the name of revaluation then we debit revaluation account in the name of inventory and the amount involved is 1000 good so we are done with the revaluation so what we are going to do is that we are going to determine the profits on revaluation or deficits so the credit side is the bigger we add and get 19,800 19,800 so it means we are going to get a revaluation surplus so the revaluation surplus we are going to share this to the partners is that okay and this will go to the capital accounts so the, the initi initially they were three so sun we have moon and star we are going to share the profits based on the profit or loss sharing ratio and the difference between this and this is going to give us 18,000 so we are going to share this 18,000 the ratio was from the person the ratio was 3 is to 2 is to 1 so the first person being son is going to get 3 out of 6 and this is going to give us 9,000 for son moon is going to get 2 out of 6 that will give us 6,000 so star will get 1 good and this is going to give us 3,000 so this amount is going to be transferred to the credit side of their capital account. Is that okay? So it means that when we are to pay for the executors of SAM, SAM will have a revaluation surplus of this amount. The 9,000 will be credited to this account. Is that okay? Okay, so now let's prepare the Goodwill account, okay, to determine SAM's portion on the valuation of the goodwill. But remember when we calculate the goodwill using the average profit method, we had 18,000 Ghana cities as the value of goodwill. So let's prepare the goodwill account together. So, so with a goodwill account, it is an asset account. Is that okay? So the corresponding entry will go to their capital account. The value was 18,000. Okay. And goodwill is not to be maintained in the book. So we should close the account. So it means the total being 18,000, being the value of goodwill, should be closed automatically to cease the going concern concept. So sun and moon and star. They are going to get it based on their profit or loss sharing ratio. So for sun is 3 out of 6 of the 18,000. Moon is 2 out of 6 of the 18,000. Star will get 1 out of 6 of the 18,000. And this is going to give us 9,000, 6,000, and 3,000. Because goodwill is not supposed to be maintained in the book, we, we need to write it off. Is that okay? But remember that sun is no more in the business. So when we are writing off goodwill, sun is not supposed to be included because when we write off his, uh, the goodwill, it means those people who are writing off the goodwill need to pay it off. Is that okay? So sun is not going to be part because it's no more part of the business. So we are going to do that and the corresponding entry will go to the capital account. But this time, the existing partners is going to cater for that. That is moon and star. Is that okay? Remember that the profit and loss sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1. That is for sun, moon and star. Is that okay? Now, sun is no more in the business. So we are going to consider this to as the new profit and loss sharing ratio to write off the goodwill. So, sun, sorry, moon will be getting two out of three of the goodwill. Then, 
star will get one out of three of the value of the blue dot. And this is going to give us 12,000 and 6,000 to close up the blue dollar count. So it means that Sam's portion in the blue dollar, which is 9,000, will be credited to his account because his deceived partners will be in charge of his share. When we talk of executors of Sam Estate, they are those people who are responsible for taking over the share of profits when the sun is no more there. Okay, so that is why we are going to look at. So we are going to prepare as executors of sun estate accounts to determine how much we should give to them. That is in the form of sun's capital account. Is that okay? Now let's look at the requirement A. Compute the amount Moon and Sun have to pay to the executors of sun estate. Okay, so now let's open the account of executors of Sun Estates. Then we know how much they're supposed to receive. Then we open the capital account of Moon and Star to determine how much they have to pay to Sun at the time of his death. So executors, that is increment A. Executors of Sunday states good then capital account so moon Star. Good. So we want to determine how much we should pay to executors of sun. So all amount that are supposed to be paid to executors of sun estate to be credited to uh, the executors of sun estate account and if he makes any drawings we debit his account is that okay because this account is operating in, in the form of a capital account of the sun good so there was an initial uh, carrying amount is that okay from the balance sheets we can realize that the initial balance sheet there was a capital account balance for sun which is 40,000. So that amount is supposed to be given to him because we are. This account is operating as the capital account of Sun. Good. After that, remember there was an interest on his capital. That is what we've already calculated. Okay? So interest on capital. Good. So with an interest on capital, we calculated that we had 900. From the question, they said you should calculate 9%. You can remember that we did 9% on his capital. 40,000. But remember he was in the business for only three months. So and we had 900. So this counts you had his interest on capital. Is that clear? Good. And when we value good work, there was his share, okay. So good work. That is the share on good or good work share or share on good work. When we did that, we had nine thousand as well. Remember that we used the profit and loss sharing ratio to determine that his ratio was three out of six. We multiplied that by the good work, and we had this. I believe you can remember. Good. So after that, we, are, we also determine the share in the accrued profit. That is uh, accrued profit. Accrued profit. We had 1,200. You can remember we did something like this. They say 12% on his capital. The capital was 40,000. 
He was in the business for only three months. We did this and we had 1,200. It's supposed to be given to some estates. Good. And you have to remember that when we prepared the revaluation account, we had a surplus on revaluation. And with the surplus, his share was 9,000. So revaluation. Surplus was 9,000 as well. Good. So this is all his entitlement. But remember that at the latter part of the question, they say that Sun had Sun had made cash drawings of 2,000. He withdraw cash from the business, and this is going to reduce his earnings. So drawings, drawings is 2,000. Good. So we are done with the accounts. Okay. So to close off this account. 60,100. When we sum this up, the debit side is supposed to be 60,100. So the difference is going to give us 58,100. But the question says that at the requirement B, that draw up a statement of financial position of the firm, firm after Sun's death, if the amount due to Sun was retained as loan. It means that the amount we're supposed to pay to executors of sum should be retained in the business as loan. Is that clear? So this amount will be loan. Okay, so we'll be treating this amount as loan in the final statement of financial position. This may be because the cash available at our uh, the disposal of the firm will not be enough to pay off executors of sum. Is that okay? So they retain it in the business as loan. Good. So now let's prepare the, the remaining partners capital account so that we'll be able to determine their capital account balances when we are preparing the statement of financial position. With the preparation of the capital account of the existing partners, which is Moon and Star, remember that in the initial balance sheet, there was an opening balances or capital account balances for these two parties. So that is the balance brought down being 30,000 and 34,000 respectively. Good. After their balances, remember that there was also a revaluation surplus where we prepare our revaluation account. So we have revaluation surplus where we use the profit and loss sharing ratio to determine. And they had 6,000 and 3,000 Respect from the revaluation account as revaluation surplus. Is that clear? And after that, there was goodwill. Is that okay? That is the goodwill introduced. Okay. As Sun Estates has his share of goodwill, being 9,000, they also have their share of goodwill. And we use 3 is to 2 is to 1. Sun had 3 out of the 6. Star, Moon had two, and the two is six thousand. That is the two out of six multiplied by the value of the goodwill. And Star also had one out of six multiplied by the value of the goodwill. And this is, is going to give us three thousand. Good. So three thousand. So we are done with the entitlement to Moon and Star. Good. So remember that they the written of the goodwill. Okay, at the credit side of the goodwill, we have entries over there, and it, it is going to appear at the debit side of their capital account. The reason why we are writing up the goodwill, excluding some estates, uh, executors of some estate, is that executors of some estate or some is no more in the partnership business. So when we are writing off, we can't write off against his account, we write off against the existing partners. Good. So that is goodwill written off, and they had twelve thousand and six thousand. Good. I believe you can remember that the goodwill value was eighteen thousand, but the profit and loss share ratio is two is to two. Uh, three is to two is to one. 
when sun is no more there, the new partnership, the, the new partnership sharing ratio becomes the property allowance sharing ratio becomes two is to one. So moon is going to get two out of the three, multiplying by the eighteen thousand, which is good work, and to give us two, uh, twelve thousand. So the one out of the three, which is star, multiplied by this, is also giving us the six thousand, making a total of the eighteen thousand good work. So that is the good work written up. Good. But remember that because the financial year is not over before sun dies, you will not be able to determine the actual profit to give him his share. So the share of the accrued profit and the interest on capital is supposed to be paid out of the capital account by, uh, of the existing partners as at that time, at the time of the day, so that at the end of the year, the share of profit and interest on capital for as a sum will be taken by them back, zero key. So they are going to make the payment to this. Okay, so we credit sun estate account with the interest, we debit the we debit capital account of moon and star. So that is sun interest on capital. And that was nine hundred. We are going to use the new product and loss sharing ratio to share. Is that okay? So when we do that with the nine hundred, with the nine hundred, we are going to get six hundred and three hundred. The same with the accrued profits. So sans accrued profit. We are going to share the twelve thousand. Is that okay? With a new property and loss sharing ratio. So for moon, it will be 2 out of 3. We multiply by the 12,000, which is the accrued profit. And that is going to give us 800. So 800. We do save to star. Star will get 400. Okay, good. So we are done with the entry. So we are to close this account. And obviously, the credit side is bigger than the debit side. So let's close it. So by closing, we sum this up and it is going to give us 40,000. 40, this is going to give us 42,000. Save to this 40,000. And we have 42,000. So the balance carried down is going to be 20. 28,600 and this is going to give us 33,300 good and this is going to be the balance brought down the current amount to become the brought down being 28,600 33,300 it means in the final statement of financial position we are going to present this balances as these two partners capital account balances so i want us to go through the statement of financial position quickly i just want to brush you through to understand how we are going to solve the statement of financial position because we've solved many statement of financial position so i believe by now you've gotten the concept but i wanted to brush you through by putting the solution on the screen and brush you through is that okay so let's try to understand how it works So the statement of financial position as at the first March 2022, the business premises was revalued. That is under property, plant, and equipment. Business premises we use the revalued amount of 36,000. Remember that equipment there was no revaluation. So we are going to use the initial value in the initial statement of financial position. That was 18,400. Then we add the revalued amount of motor vehicle, making that is 45,000, the revalued amount. So the total will be 99,400, the total on current assets. Then we move to the current assets. The inventory was revalued. We use the revalued amount, that is 14,200. Then we use the debtors balance as well. But remember that the debtors balance in the initial balance sheet was 18,000. 
sorry, 16,800, and there was a bad debt of 800. So when we take the bad debt from the debtors balance, we are going to arrive at 16,000. And remember that the cash and the bank balance too is an amount of 8,400. It was an amount of 8,400 from the initial balance sheet. And remember, Sun made drawings of 2,000. Is that okay? So if you take the 2,000 from the 8,400, remaining with 6,400 as the cash and bank balance, making a total current asset of 36,600. Then we less our current liability, which is creditor. So there was no revaluation of creditors' balance. So we take the initial creditors' balance of 16,000. Then we subtract it from the total current asset to arrive at 20,600 as the net current asset. So we add the sorry as the working capital, then we add it to the total on current assets to arrive at 120,000 as the net assets, as the net current assets. Now remember that from the question and the letter but they tell us that the that is they say that we should draw up the statement of financial position of the firm after Sans that if the amount owned to him was retained as loan. This means the amount that we're supposed to pay to the executors of Sun, which is fifty-eight thousand one hundred, supposed to be retained in the business as loan. So we classify that or we recognize it as an uncurrent asset as loan for Sun, which is an amount of fifty-eight thousand one hundred. Then we less it from the net current asset of 120,000 to arrive at 61,900 as the net asset of the business. So we move to the finance by the capital column. You can testify that the moon capital account balance at the post is 28,600 and that of star is 33,300 and the capital employed of the business becomes 61,900 as the same as that of the net asset 61,900. So as I, as, I, as I was saying, this is how we go through uh, a retirement death or withdrawal of a partners. That is how we make an accounting arrangement for this. So I think if you don't get anything, just give the comments under the comment section. I'll take my time and attend to you. And let me know where you are watching me from to make our learning very interesting. Our next topic will be amalgamation of a, a partnership firm. That is where two partnership business or firms come together to form one uh, business. In that situation, they are going to close the initial book value or the initial account of the, the, the they are going to close the account of the old firms and transfer their capital and other things to the new firm to be amalgamated. So in our next video, that is what we are going to do. So your job is just to subscribe to the channel so that anytime you begin uploading all those videos, you get a notification right there on your I think until we meet, then bye for now.